Chrono. Chrono! Hold it, Chrono. Chrono! Chrono! Ah, you've woken. You were most fitful in your sleep. Chrono, where's Chrono? We found no other. So it wasn't a dream. Where are we? Is this the village of the Earthbound Ones? This island was the only refuge left after the Ocean Palace unleashed its ruin. No others remain. No, not this era too. Melchior! Where's Melchior? When the disaster struck, an eerie black portal materialized before the young Lord Janus. Melchior tried to save the boy prince, but succeeded only in getting himself dragged in as well. A black portal. A gate! What about Shala? That I cannot say. No one has seen her since. The Epic! What happened to it? Your ship is a sturdier vessel than one might venture. She washed up safe and sound right in your wake. It was almost as though she were drawn to you. Chrono. Marl. If the Epic is okay, my gut tells me that Chrono is too. Hmm. Ah, oh, yes. I believe this is yours. My pendant. I'd given it to Krona to hold for me. I found it resting upon your shoulder, my lady. Almost as though it were guarding you. Krono. Take all the time you need to rest. I will be in the village commons just beyond. Welcome back to more Chrono Trigger. We need to appoint a new party leader. I think we've already got her, but we'll bring Frog along for the ride too. There is a save point here, should you need to use it. We're fully rested though, so I see no purpose to doing so. And this is the surviving village, or last village, depending on which canon you consult. A few of the Enlightened Ones did survive, but no distinctions remain between the Enlightened and the Earthbound now. The Sun Temple of Zeal enshrined a sunstone. Such stones are made by bathing a darkened moonstones in, their sun, in the sun's rays. Harvesting enough power to create a sunstone of any worth requires ages though, or so I've heard. Zeal Kingdom is no more and can no longer be revisited. Come back from time to time. He sells whatever washes up here. So if you wait a while, he'll most likely have some new things up for sale. Or he'll just leave on his own. I used to think that you had to shove him out of the way because that was when he moved by coincidence when I first played this. That's how I always did it. But I think I overestimated my clout. There is a magic capsule. If we go to our equipment, we can see that Chrono's equipment was obliterated along with him. You don't get it back. Lavo's hurt is bad. Triple techs are also no longer a thing. You notice how Chrono was always the leader, so everyone that we've learned so far had to involve him in some way. Marl, I think you need this the most out of everyone right now. Take it. If we leave and come back, after the new so rudely just kind of left us to wallow, bye? <laughs> what an insensitive way to be. Uh, he has usual suspects, no weapons available. No armor, or no helmets available, and no armor available. Well, sheesh, this kind of sucks now, doesn't it? Uh, high potions. We don't have any of those in stock, and we kind of are swimming in money after all that we did in the Ocean Palace, so maybe I'll take some of those. I have enough shelters, I have enough ethers. Just that should be enough. Come again. Might as well explore. There is very little left of, the, of this entire time period. You can see that on the map, there's barely any land left. And I'll even zoom out to show you exactly just how different it is. Here's what it was before, here's now. Lavos did in this time period, showing this is not the first time that he has made a major hit to civilization. At the North Cape, there's a beautiful view. I'd certainly appreciate someone who could appreciate a view like this, but there's nothing else here right now. 
Next up, we'll go to the village commons. How can I survive in uh, such a land without my magic? You've no need for magic to survive. Besides, you're not here alone. I suppose you're right. We are alive after all. And so long as we are, we must hold on to hope. The sun ever rises on the morrow. There's little we can do but live for today and trust the other days will follow. We've grown too dependent on that fearsome force. Everyone and everything was swallowed by the sea. The sea of clouds had parted and the blizzard at last abated. Could this long and terrible winter be at an end? He must have cried himself to sleep. Let him be. Feeling better, are we? Bow, churls, and pay homage to your new liege, King Dalton! Why ever the looks of disappointment? You should be thankful you survived! That crazed old crone is gone, and that insufferable prophet with her. Henceforth, zeal shall be known as the Kingdom of Dalton! You? You survived? Ah, that ship outside must be yours then, mustn't it? It matches Balthazar's designs perfectly. You're undeserving of such a splendid toy. I shall make it my personal chariot! You can't do that! You will have to come with me. It would not do to have you whispering strange secrets in the ears of this mob. You might start a rebellion! But first... Take this! What? <sighs> hey, what's that behind you? <laughs> a little taste of my true power! Where is this? <gasps> our equipment! It's taken! All our other things, too. Even our money! What to do? We try to get out. Heh, <laughs> like watching sheep. They can't try anything without weapons. Eek! Clouds, then we must be on- Marl, uh, you're not Wily e. Coyote, you might want to get back here, that looks really unsafe. The Black Bird? Can't go this way. Huh? There's an air duct. Because there always is. We can spy on our captors from here. Outside of our cell, we can see the one standing guard that was just taunting us. And we have a maze of air ducts. Every time you hear that sound cue, it means you can press A to see what is below you. This part... Uh, this is kind of confusing. There's pathways that you can't see because it's dark up here. And I suppose, yeah, if you were climbing through air ducts in real life, this is probably pretty close to what it would be like. But it doesn't mean that I like it. We can't do anything against any enemies, so avoid conflict at all costs. Find a way through otherwise. And it's actually not just this part where it's kind of like a maze and kind of confusing to move about that I'm not a fan of. I've been- How did you escape? Don't try anything. Challenge accepted. I was saying that I don't know how popular of an opinion this is. I've never really seen him talked about that much among people who like Chrono Trigger, but I'm just going to come out and say it. Ripping the band-aid off right now. I don't like Dalton. I think Dalton's really annoying. I don't, I, he's kind of funny, I guess. I've been trying to like ham up when I've been talking as him because I kind of always imagine that's how he would talk. And those characters are fine in small doses, but he pops up all the time. He just kind of wins at everything he tries, even though his plans are terrible, even against smart people. Not even resorts to dirty tricks. He does things that really should have never worked. Like, come on, our characters fell for the oldest trick in the book of, hey, look behind you. I didn't want to take away from it in the moment when we got to fight him in the throne room and it was supposed to be all big and special. 
but it's not. His boss fight sucked, especially for how hyped up it was that we were gonna get to fight this guy. To me, for how good everything has been at setting up climactic battles and making every boss feel very unique and special, easily most forgettable boss fight to me. Sorry about that, wanted to fill in the map really quick before I went to where we needed to go just so it'd be all filled in and I could find my way. Oh no, he's messing around with the epic. How dare he meddle with our things. Shh. Pay close attention to what you're doing. This is to be my royal air throne. The world will bow before me. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't think that like a super hammy villain being played so seriously and winning against us all the time and really stupid ways. I just don't like it. He's not that entertaining of a character to me. He's kind of funny at first, I guess, but that's about it. That connects... Come on! Really? Alright. So. Okay. Top middle. Go slightly down from it, and then over. I found a this. This guy's asleep, and inside, recovered Marl's equipment. So now at least one of us is capable of fighting, and we don't have to worry about the enemies. It's empty. What are you doing here? These are Daltonites, which is kind of an amusing name. Okay, I'll give you that one. Pretty much every enemy here has laughable defenses and just dies in one hit anyway. Chess contents are based on party position. That will always have the party leader's equipment inside it, and party members are locked in place. We cannot switch out in any way. What is kind of smart, if you wanted to do it this way, I personally didn't because I wanted to kind of carry what was going on in the story. Make Ayla your party leader. Apparently chopping off Ayla's hands is beneath them, so they will not do that, and instead uh, Ayla will be able to fight normally just from being your party leader, and she just won't have any sort of armor. As long as you can attack, you can fight. That is the only important thing. Fighting solo with Marl is not exactly good, but you can see that I care a lot about her and that I really wanted her to be the leader in this particular situation. Now, since we can finally go about this place, picking up all the chests and everything, I'm just sharing all the hot goss today because I got another secret I gotta tell you. I don't like this part. I think it's a very good example of something being cool, but not good. It's kind of cool being on an airplane and getting to see the blackbird fly and not realizing that you are flying on it until you're already in the air as prisoners. That's kind of cool, I guess. It's neat-ish sneaking around and getting your stuff back. My problem is with pretty much everything else other than the core concept. It doesn't help that I already don't like Dalton. What makes it even worse is that everything looks exactly the same. This is the one part where I don't, I find myself not knowing where to even go. I remember that cutscene in the bottom middle because that's straightforward enough. Aside from that, there's not much landmarks or anything memorable about the locations. These are all just tiny rooms that all kind of look the same in very samey hallways. The enemies aren't even good. This guy, he went down in one hit. He only had that one attack with the missiles. That's it. This contains Lucas equipment, so we'll be a little bit better off now. It fails to stick with me, and I don't remember it at all from time to time. Heck, I think I last played through this in December, and I already don't remember where to go. <laughs> I seriously just walked through the guard into my own cell. <laughs> That'll stick with me. Uh, pretend to be sick. Ah, I see. Get the guard in here. Catch him unawares. Ow, my belly button. The pain. Do frogs even have belly buttons? What's the matter? Fool. Frogs have no belly buttons. Oh, answering my question already. Wow, frog, you know me even better than I know me. Man, feel lucky. I finally had a memorable experience in the black bird, and you got to be around to see it. We experienced it together. Anyway, I never remember what to do on this part. You saw me fumbling around for a while, filling in the map and checking the different rooms. All I ever remember is the cutscene in the bottom middle. It's one of those giant mazes where you just have to find the one room that has the one thing you actually need. Because once you find the party leader's equipment, there you go. Aside from that, it's all just chests that you can't do anything with because the enemies are guarding it. There's no way of knowing if a room is safe or not until you already walk into it and whoops, you've gotten caught. Uh, it's such a pain. It's trial and error and not, the, and not in a good way that can be figured out in a short amount of time.
Oh, we got a lot of enemies. Good thing we have magic users. <laughs> this party does come in handy for something. Now, the cherry on top of the Sunday of disappointment that this place is, is the music. I can't believe I can say this. The music sucks. Or rather, lack thereof of music. Have a listen. Boy, I never imagined this would be the second playthrough in a row where I stopped to show you how bad the music is. It's a looping white noise of an airplane flying that never, ever stops except when you get into battles. I've told you that I have a history of getting lost here. I want you to imagine being stuck for close to an hour and having nothing else to listen to for most of that time while I'm trying to find my way. I'm not exaggerating. I've been lost in here for an hour before. Maybe it's just me, but that would, I think, give anyone a vendetta with an area if that's all they had to listen to. It had me reaching for the mute button. Got Frog's equipment. All we're missing now is our items. Thank God. And, oh. Okay, fine. Another enemy that goes down in one regular attack, practically. Go ahead. Take him out, Frog. That's that. <laughs> Whacked him with the crossbow. Been a while since we've been able to, it's been a while since we accomplished something with that. I'm going to go back into the air ducts really quick. Going down from the top lefternmost ladder, this takes us to a room that we couldn't do anything with before, and it's got its share of doorways. Speaking of which, what are you doing here? The enemies aren't even interesting. When you finally get to... Ooh, okay, I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, wow. I'll, I'll get to a lot of things in a minute, apparently. The enemies aren't even interesting. The Dalt Knights have one regular attack where they whack you with your staff, and they're a reskin of slang we've already seen, and the bites just launch the missiles at you. I've been talking through the encounters about other things because there's nothing even interesting to say about the enemies. There's nothing you can charm off of them if you bring uh, Ayla into the party. Nothing. It's just really boring enemies that don't mean anything. Uh, now, how fitting that I learned a tech that sucks. Cure 2 restores a large amount of HP to one ally. How could that possibly suck? Well, it always heals 999 HP. How could that ever be bad? It's because of Cure 1. It's outclassed. I will demonstrate to you right now what I've been saying all along. Cure 1 being able to last you the entire game because Marl's magic stat is so high that it heals more than what anyone's max HP is, that's pretty much always true. Cure 1 on Luca, 670. She has 621. Frog, 673. Luke, uh, okay, I guess I can't heal you because you're full health. But you understand what I'm trying to say here. You get the gist. There's no reason to spend more MP on Cure 2 because it's more MP for something you don't need. This is something else I didn't really realize right away in my first playthrough, and I felt stupid when I realized, wait a minute, what's the point of Cure 2? I'm just wasting my MP. Yet another example of low-level tech sometimes being better than the high-level versions. I consider that probably the most useless tech in the game. A lot of people never use the status ones, but I stand by them being good. Hypno Wave is great. Um, Boogie is fantastic. It makes certain boss fights a joke that are otherwise hard. Every tech has some kind of use except that one. Recover the party inventory. With the party inventory back, I believe that means... No, we can't switch the party back in. Okay. Not like we weren't really able to get by on our magic. Uh, I'm going to go through this door up here. And this ladder... Okay, this is actually where we need to go, but I'm not going to take it right away. This is weird. So, I'm not missing any chests. I've shown you how to get them all. Make sure that you found the money chest. You can miss that. All the others will be given back eventually if they're missed. It's slightly screwy. What's even screwier is exploring the air ducts before getting the inventory back. Which, of course... They make you go up here before you can get that back. If you don't have it, this will not spawn. I was tapping A and didn't get this magic capsule. You have to know to get your consumable inventory and then come up here to get it. Marl, take it. You've earned it. Back here, I sort of kind of wish I had a different party. I recommend Ayla for the reasons that I stated before, but that's not all. These here... I think are going to look very familiar to you momentarily. These are turrets, and they disable tech and item commands immediately. Just like the little gold nuggets that we were fighting before, 
You want to take them out as quickly as possible. Maybe you can... Oh, God. Wow, Luca, you just... There's missing shots, and then there's that. That was not even close. They just pelt you for a while, and if they go too long, they self-destruct without giving you any kind of reward, and they are good if you can defeat them. Luca, please. Frog, please. We really need to get some damage clocked on them and fast. Nope, self-destruct. All right, do your victory dance, flex your biceps, jump up in the air, showing that you can fly, but you never use that ability to solve any problems. Uh, okay, what do I want here? I wish I could switch out party members. Maybe I could give Frog the Masamune back and just give him the higher critical hit rate. All right, I'll fight you. I'm just trying to get them on their lonesome. I don't, f yeah, it doesn't seem like the others join in if they're on the screen, thankfully, but I just like to be on the safe sky because that's typically how it goes. Come on, Frog, get your 50% chance crit. Yes, 422. Marl gets in some damage and look at, whoa, making up for your spectacular battle we just had right now, guys. Come on, yeah, that's what I like to see. Now, Frog, do it again. Uh, Marl, do it again. Uh, we're all just missing as a group now. <laughs> They're all like dancing around this thing in unison, all choreographed like. Uh, nope, that's it. They're hard. They're really difficult to defeat if you don't have the right party, and I'm definitely seeing that here. I'll see if I have any accuracy-based accessories, because maybe that could help us win. Even still, it seems like we're going to have to do a lot in order to get any kind of win against these guys, because we were hitting most of our attacks there. Oh, we hit half of our attacks, but still, that's... I mean, it rounds up. That counts as most, right? That's how numbers work. Using the proper terminology. Frog hit him again, please. Good. Okay, regular hit. Marl gets him. We got it! Yes! Okay, good, 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 good. 1,500 experience, 100 TP. They give... Primo rewards if you can somehow kill them. The ribbon gives plus two accuracy, which could, which does raise Marl's attack power as well, so that's in. The acuity ring could be nice. Probably want that on Frog if I'm gonna make somebody have that big of a buff though, so maybe no more Masamune. Instead, we'll have the Demon Slayer and then go with the acuity ring there. 29 accuracy is definitely a lot better than how we had it. These enemies do not respawn. You only get one shot. Frogo? Yep, he gets the hit. Luca does not. Maybe the wind's blowing so hard that it just moves the bullet south and just barely grazes Marl's hair. Got hit number two. And probably one more should do it, Luca. Loving it, Luca. Nice. You're proving me wrong and having used in a fight where you can't use fire. Cool. And then we'll go up and we'll do another. Oh, nope, nope, nope. You do fight two of them together at once. Okay, well, we'll just focus all of our efforts on one to get as much of this out of it as we possibly can. Yeah, yeah, disables tech and item commands. If you could actually disable that on these type of enemies where you're still able to hit them even with that disables tech and item commands, they're immune to all elemental damage anyway, so only physical techs would mean anything. Just in case you find a way to do that. There's that chuckle at herself. Uh, okay. You're finding ways to cheer me up, and that's what we needed a part of it, out of a party leader right now. Self-destruct, self-destruct, yeah. Okay, couldn't get either of them. I guess I don't feel so bad about it now that there was no hope that I might be able to get two of them in one. Now, this part, oh my god. Remember my hour of getting stuck? There's a good reason for it. I found the wing, and I remember that this is where you had to go. You have to go to this little spot in the bottom left to further things. I walked all around this wing, and just because I never found the cutscene in the garage with Dalton tampering with the epic, this wouldn't trigger. You have to see that cutscene, or else you can't progress with the story, and nothing tells you this. Oh. It's so arbitrary. Oh, I don't know. This is the second area that I'm not found. fond of. Just what we needed, this thing. It's a different one. It's the Galm Overlord. I guess I don't know if this one's female. Take this! Five, four, three, two, one. Um, uh. Five. Four, three, two, one.
two! One! No, I'm scared! I hate heights! This fight does nothing for you. There's not even anything to charm off of it. It's just perpetually the Gulm Overlord not wanting to fight because it can't stand anything. Even though it floats, I guess it would be kind of scary floating above a wing and being potentially smashed into the side of the plane. I know that jumping off of a, like a commercial jet, you can't do that because you'd smash into the side of it. I've done it. It's complete. See these beautiful wings! This is a throne truly fit for a king. I name it... The Arrow Dalton Imperial! Those meddlesome interlopers shall be her first victims! Arrow Dalton Imperial, prepare for takeoff! No, 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 and no! Stop the music! Haha, <laughs> there, yes, there we go. Now then. Don't go changing my settings on the car radio. That's how you make enemies, and you're already in hot water. Look! The epic. It can fly! Her name is not the epic! It's the Arrow Dalton Imperial! And you, I'm afraid, are excess baggage! <laughs> Time to make like the wind and blow you all away! <laughs> yes, squirm about like the worms you are! <sighs> it's all your fault! Oh no. Give back Chrono! You! You know how to get on my good side, don't you? Okay, well we have the line bomb to try out. Uh, I like you now that you're making puns. I, uh, sucking up will get you everywhere. That can't be good for the ship. Uh, polarity inversion strikes with opposing magic. He's able to do the level two magic of the opposite element and you can absorb that if you have the right stuff. Uh, we have Double Cure right here, which is not as useless as it sounds. It's Cure 2 on the entire party, combining it with Frog's uh, own Cure 2. It's not quite true that Cure 2 is a guaranteed 999 because Frog's is not due to his low magic stat. I've just never had Marl get to the level where she learns it without already having high enough magic to always do 999, just to clarify that really quick. Maybe, uh... Well, he counters magic. So, Frog, you should probably just stop wasting time and do something here. Let's just uh, get in some attacks right there. He's similar to before, where if you hit him with physical attacks, then... If you would. Iron Sphere has HP. That also cannot be good for the wing of the ship. He seldom attacks directly, mainly countering whatever it is you do, either with the level 2 magic or with the Iron Sphere. He does have some direct attacks, as we saw earlier. He had to take this, similar to Wind Slash. Just keep everyone's HP above 100, and there won't be much he can do to surprise. We're furthering Dalton, seeming like he's going to be a big, threatening, tough bad guy, but in reality, he doesn't do a whole lot. Uh, following my own advice, need to get some HP back onto everyone with a Lapis. Got plenty of them, that's what they're there for. There's the take this. Didn't even attack Frog. Okay, so we're good. Getting impatient with him as I do, so I'm just gonna do a haste so we can get some damage clocked quicker. Eh, <laughs> get it. <laughs> and the last thing worth mentioning is that this is when you would get your items back. Dalton would take them as supplies with him on his flight, and you could reclaim them now. He died as he lived. Very lamely. Marl got a level up though, and so did Luca, and so did Frog. Nothing to charm in either of these fights, so don't worry about having Ayla if you didn't. It's easily doable without. 
Is the epic all right? That filthy thief. More importantly, how do we control this thing? What about that lever? Marl, is it not that Y button? Then the X button! Try the X button! Hurrah! Justice! Dalton's been paid his due. Mercy, that ship can fly! I think I got a handle on it. Incredible. Mayhap we owe him a touch of gratitude for this. And I'd just been thinking about upgrading it myself, too. Oh, well. Chrono. Marl. The poor fool. Chrono's gotta be somewhere. I'll find him. Next time on Chrono Trigger, we take our newly upgraded epic and see what we can do. See you guys then.